Hey guys, what's going on? It's Liam Jenkins Sim Racing here, and today I'm bringing you a brand new series on a new game. It's Madden 13, and I've always wanted to do one of these Let's Plays, and I actually did one on my old Indie Game Reviewer channel, and it got quite a lot of attention, so I was hoping that this one would do the same, and hoping that the Madden community is still thriving. So I'm going as a coach, but instead I'm going to play a bit of Russian Roulette with the team that I go for. Instead of just selecting my favourite team or an underdog, I'm going to let the computer decide for me, just shut my eyes, hold the analog sticks down, and see where I end up. And the mystery answer is the Denver Broncos, 79 overall. They went 8 for 8 last season. They're not a bad team. Of course, they've got Peyton Manning for this season. So they've got the seasoned uh, Super Bowl MVP there. He really is definitely going to add something to the team. And so I'm just creating my coach here. And the outline of this series is basically that every season, I'm going to hopefully try and coach a new team and take them to the Super Bowl or at least the playoffs. But we should have to wait and see how it plays out because I may decide to stay with the Broncos or they may not be the team for me or I may get offer from another team. So we'll have to wait and see. But for now, I'm just creating my coach and choosing his look and making sure he looks all swag in a polo shirt. Or shall I go for a suit? I think I'll actually go for the suit when I get his face right. You know, make him all look all hip and trendy on the sideline. Very much like Vince Lombardi used to do. Although I highly doubt that I'm going to achieve the same amount of stature as Vince Lombardi did. So, there is our coach all created. So, we're just going to finalise the league settings. I'm not the best Madden player in the entire world. So, I'm going to set it on all ma uh, not all Madden, all Pro. I think all Madden would just be embarrassing to watch. As you're about to see, all Pro isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world for me. And that's it. So, we're just going to start our career now. As you can see on the homepage, you're going to see the headline of me signing with the Broncos and then firing their coach and Denver as well were a good team this season I think they did very well and of course I had that mighty turnaround probably the best of the season in the second half where they came back against a win and it was just phenomenal to watch hopefully I can achieve something of the same sort of stature so we do get ready to start our league and find out who our first season opponents are going to be against now I simmed all the pre-season stuff because I didn't really want to get all into it and make sure it's all boring and just do all the practices and because pre-season games in this I don't think really matter that much if you can simulate them so I've done all the practices, as you can see, just a few of them which are unavailable there. And I think that the ones in the in the fourth quarter are probably the best ones to try and go for. Now, I'm going to have different views on this, and you'll see a few throughout the career mode. But I think the ones in the uh, fourth quarter, we've got around a few minutes to go, are probably the best ones to go for. So, there you can see them. We're facing the Pittsburgh Steelers in the opening game of the 2012 season. It's going to be Big Ben Roethlisberger leading the Pittsburgh Steelers against Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos. Two Super Bowl MVPs, two very seasoned quarterbacks, and two quarterbacks which could be their final season in the game. They're very old now, and you know, Big Ben Roethlisberger has still proved he's got the athleticism. Peyton's still got one of the best arms in the NFL, but it's very much like Brett Favre when he moved to the Vikings. It's make or break time for them now. Let's see what both quarterbacks can do in the opening match up of the 2013 season. So there you can see a great view of the stadium which the players will be playing at this evening is in Denver. So we do technically have a little home field advantage as we get ready for the Papa John's coin toss. The referee shoots it in the air and we win the toss which means the Broncos receive first to start off their 2013 season. I know it's 2012 in the game as you can see Mike Tomlin just getting ready for what should be a very enticing game too. Very uh, offense based teams I think but you do have of course Troy Polamalu who's a looming threat in that Steelers defense. So Leonard trying to return this for as long as he can and gets to around the 23 yard line. So not a bad return by any stretch of the imagination. And onto the field for the first time this season steps Peyton Manning in a Broncos outfit. There you can see Troy Polamalu there so... Predictably, the first play of the game is going to be a run and see what Willis McGee can do. Or do I shake it up? Their defense is quite close, so I try and shake it up and maybe catch them out. Maybe they're not ready for this sort of play. The question is, which player am I going to go for? So Manning steps back and immediately throws short by accident and has almost picked off first throw of the game. So the defense are going to have none of that and were completely ready for a short throw across the middle, even though it was a bit quicker than anticipated. So they line up for the second down and 10. Manning steps back into the pocket, looks short, gets a great throw there to Tam. And that brings them the first down and 10. So a little bit later on in the game, here we go. Manning once again. Flings it long to Thomas and it's intercepted already. And within the first minute of the game, Peyton Manning throws the first interception to Taylor. 
And the Steelers step onto the field. Ben Roethlisberger has now got his chance to try and prove why they should be in the lead of this matchup. So now let's see what this Broncos defense are made of. And what has Ben Roethlisberger got left in a tang? He does the handoff and immediately shunned down there by Dummerville. And that keeps first and ten a little bit later in the game. They're third and six here. They almost make it for the first down. But in the first Steelers drive of the game, the Broncos actually do not let them get more than eight yards. So the defense looking very tight, very focused. And looking at that, going to be very formidable, I think, during the season. So the Steelers punt once again. Drekka picks it up this time. Follows his block very nicely. Finds a little gap in the defence and gets himself to the 31-yard line. So not a bad starting point as Peter Manning steps back onto the field. Hungry to recuper. And what a throw that was there to Hill. He's going to go all the way to the end zone. Phantom space. Jumps and it's a touchdown for the Denver Broncos. And Manning will be so happy with that one, especially after letting the, start, uh, the letting the side down there. And, of course, giving away that interception. He finally gets them back into the lead with a great throwing touchdown. And then the defence also looking to continue where they left off. Dummerville makes his second tackle of the game. They're third and 12. Roethlisberger again under a lot of pressure in the pocket. Almost gets that. He throws it. Porter's going to jump up in the air and stop them from clenching that one. So they punt again. Drek is on the reception and he can't find a hole, but he seeks a tackle. He runs there and eventually gets pushed over at the 37-yard line. So Manning fakes the handoff. Now looks for an open man. He's thrown the wrong ball again. There was an open man down the bottom, but he's unfortunately thrown another interception. Two interceptions in the first quarter. This has not been Peter Manning's game by any stretch of the imagination. So Roethlisberger looks again to try and put some points on the ball. It's fumbled first play of the game. Mays picks it up. And will stay down and finally get some Broncos momentum shifting back. So now it's down to Peyton Manning again. Throws long there to Hill and he just gets stopped at first and goal. Now you can see the quarterback comparison already. 107 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions, but 44% completion. So not a very strong game at all so far. Throws it long and look at that. That is classic Troy Polamalu there. We thought we'd go right around the edge. Polamalu doing what Polamalu does best. Seeing the game at least a few seconds in front of it happening and taking the tackle down. But we score another touchdown. Tam being the man who converts it there with Peter Manning getting his second one of the afternoon to put a 14-0 lead on the board. So Roethlisberger again steps out onto the field with his offence. Where's he going to throw? He's in the pocket again here. He goes for a run. He's got plenty of space but Dummerville again brings him down. One sack and three tackles. He has had a brilliant game so far and once again the Steelers offence are unable to convert into some passing yards here. They're fourth and 12 and forced to punt the ball. Four minutes 15 left in the second quarter and it's not looking good for them at all. So, Drecker on the reception gets immediately stopped there around the 44-yard line, bringing the Broncos' offense up in a good starting position. Peyton Manning does a fake handoff there. Who does he look for? He presses B, goes for Thomas, who shakes off a tackle. He's going to run down the sideline and eventually gets taken down at the 20-yard line, but a great reception there by the Broncos receiver. Manning steps back once again. No pressure there at all. And oh, what a catch that was there by Tam. Almost an interception, perfectly placed there by Peyton Manning. And an even better reception from Tam Polamalu. He's not going to be looking very happy at all as Manning steps off the field again to give his team a three-touchdown lead before the second half. Or would he? Roethlisberger steps onto the field once again. A nice throw and they finally pick up a first down. Can they convert that though into more momentum? It's Brown who picks up his second reception of the game with 17 yards. Roethlisberger pushed his team all the way down the field but a vital sack there. Pushes second and 18 with 51 seconds left. We couldn't let them score knowing they'll get the ball next uh, half as well. They do not convert. Had a big stop there for fourth and six by Williams. They're punting again and they finally got momentum Going. They were breaking the will of the defense, but we finally stopped them, stopped them converting, and more importantly, on their first play of the second half, we stopped them pushing down the field and got that all important punt. So, Drecker once again on the reception now takes a hit straight away and gets to our own 37 yard line. So, the first play of the second half, then for the Denver Broncos, we're looking for a run here with Willis McGee. You can see tight end in motion at the bottom. McGee tries to dive up to the inside and tackled there. By Polamalu again, who's really been the heart and soul of that defense this afternoon. He stopped some major plays from happening. So we're second and four. Can Peter Manning keep this record up? Is he going to throw another interception? Can he push on down the field? And it's a big pick up there by Jekyll, but it's fumbled. And the Steelers are all over that like a pack of hungry wolves. And they pick up the loose ball. It's Harrison who picks up the, inter uh, the fumble, I beg your pardon. 
And again, they push their way down the field. They've had one out of six third down conversions, so not very strong at all. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. They're still down by a long, long way. Roethlisberger looks to throw, and he's been pressured heavily. And a big sack there by Woodyard. Forces them into fourth and ninth, and again, another field goal. But at this stage, all these points are important. They've pulled it down now, so not too long to go till the lead. Can they convert the field goal? Yes, they can. So the ball goes through the post, and the field goal's good. So 21 to 9 is still very much open. It's nowhere near over yet. We've still got another quarter to go. So the ball gets kicked now back to the Broncos. Leonard on the reception once again. He's running down the sideline, goes through the middle, tries to follow his blocks. There's not enough room in the end, and he can only manage a 22-yard line. Manning steps back then, third and ten. It's a long throw, and just over the top for fourth and ten. And at this stage, he made a risky decision. They were slowly climbing up the board. We went for it on fourth down, and at this stage, so many people would argue it's the wrong decision. Manning, looking to prove people wrong, finds an open man, and he makes it stick. In a very risky situation, if he didn't play off, he could have put that massive lead in jeopardy, but he doesn't. Dressing on the reception, they can see his stats. He's thrown for 200 yards, 3 for 3 though on touchdowns and interceptions. By no means a strong record at all. Manning drops back once again, now looks for an open man, but he gets sacked. A massive sack there by Timmons, 2nd and 21. We punt it away. And they again push their way back down the field there. The offense looking a lot stronger. Roethlisberger's beginning to rush as well. The tight end moving over to that left-hand side. What has Roethlisberger got up his sleeve here? He goes for a dive. He does get sacked though. And it's Villa on his, uh, Miller, I beg your pardon, on his second sack of the afternoon. Steelers line up again. Receivers looking strong. Roethlisberger's got to stay strong in the pocket. He throws long and it's a big catch there for first and ten. And that's looking like it's going to be a big jump for them. They're pushing ever closer to that promised land of the end zone to put some more points on the board. If they do, that will put them up to 16, I believe. So Roethlisberger hands off the toss to Mendenhall. He dives. He's almost there, but tackled at the last second. There's their red zone percentage. Three field goals on their three separate trips to the end zone today. Can they finally get a touchdown on the board? Or are the Broncos' defence going to hold out once again and force another field goal? Carter, you can see, stepping in there, making sure there's no room for a run. Pope moves over to the right-hand side. Roethlisberger again with the handoff to Mendenhall. No room, but they get the first and goal. So Carter makes his fourth uh, tackle of the afternoon. Two-minute warning. And it's still anyone's game here. The offense on the Broncos side is making too many errors. And now that offense on the Steelers side is starting to pick up a lot of steam. They're getting in the mind of the defense now. And they're really starting to put those big plays in. Even though short running yards could be key. He throws completely unmarked there for a Steelers touchdown. Brown, the number 84, makes it in to bring it to 16. So they are definitely within reaching distance of this win. It's down to Peyton Manning to try and hold this off for as long as possible. He throws it. It's intercepted by Troy Polamalu. He's been on fire all game. The Storms down the left-hand side. And he just gets tackled. First and goal in the final minute and a half. The Steelers fans were going crazy at this stage. They're playing away. They're down by a touchdown. And this could be the one to seal the deal. Roethlisberger hands off again to Mendenhall. Stop though for second and goal right on that end. Uh, end zone yard line and he now throws again Roethlisberger steps back he looks for a short throw he's under pressure throws it nowhere make sure it doesn't land still at 100% conversion in that end zone here today but look at this they've only completed two out of eight first downs they've really got to try and step that up before this one's one minute 20 left in the fourth quarter he looks he's under pressure again can he run it in for a touchdown no he throws it and it's no good. He could have run it there. The Broncos defense have done enough. But they go for it on fourth and goal. One minute 15 left on the clock. They have got no timeouts left. So it's make or break for the Pittsburgh Steelers now. Roethlisberger throws it short and it's pushed away. Great defensive cover there by the Broncos. And now we're fighting in our own end zone. So he could potentially give up a safety. They need to make sure that ball stays away from the Steelers. Especially Troy Polo. Marley McGee finds some room down the sideline. Gets pushed out of bounds and stops the clock. One minute seven left. 
And the last thing I wanted to do here was kneel it. I wanted to try and at least push forward. Because if you kneel it and keep that clock running, the only thing is that they could still potentially give up a safety. You're still within that danger zone. And we're still only on that 18-yard line. So still plenty of danger there if anything does go wrong. So I tried to run it through the middle. McGee again gets taken down. So we're just trying to play it safe with second and nine with a minute left on the clock. So again, I was going to hand it off here and just try and bring this game to a close in the best way possible without just sitting down and taking a kneel. I wanted to try and get it out of safety before I started kneeling. McGee again on the run, gets pushed away, blocks a tackle. And it's Troy Polamalu again forces a fumble. The ball comes down and in the dying moments, 42 seconds left in the game. Polamalu, a massive slam. Has really taken it to this uh, Broncos offense here today. First and 10 for the Steelers. 40 seconds left. Can they take a win in this game? Or can the Broncos hold on for a little bit more? They almost take a first down there. They get first and goal. They're inside the red zone. Time ticking away. 30 seconds left on the clock. Can they do it? They take the spike and keep that clock from running down just a little bit more. And what is going to be running through the mind of Ben Roethlisberger right now? He can handle these big pressure scenarios. He's not a Super Bowl MVP for no reason. He knows what it's like to compete here at the top level of NFL in the most pressurable situations. Can he do it here today? He's coming under a lot of pressure in the pocket. He throws and is pushed away again by the defence. Their third and goal. A field goal will be no good. That will only bring them to 19. They'll be down by two with 20 seconds left on the clock. So it's got to be literally now or never for the Broncos offense to try and keep them and get that 1-0 to zero record after the first week. Roethlisberger looks, throws long and again he's just pushed off the line. And they're right literally on the line and they don't have any timeouts left to challenge it. That was very controversial. That could have won or lost them this match. Fourth and goal. Five seconds left on the clock. Roethlisberger's got to convert here. Can he do it? He's trying to run. He gets sacked in the final play of the game. The sixth Sack of the game for the Denver Broncos. A massive record for the Broncos defence. They held on so well there. Peyton Manning had a nightmare of a game. But they rode their luck. And I should come away with a victory. So you see the standings in all the divisions at the moment. The Ravens go off to a flying start with the Steelers uh, taking a loss along with the other teams as well. The AFC South looking pretty tight there. But what a game that was. And it's got to be said, Peyton Manning didn't have the best of games. Four touchdowns, four interceptions. And that is not the way you want to be starting this season. He's got some young competition as well. He's got some rookie quarterbacks on the horizon if he keeps messing up like that. But he's got to be said that Broncos defense is now the second in the league and know what they're doing. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. There will be a new one very shortly. If you've got any suggestions or improvements, please let me know. Your feedback will be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you very soon for the second week of my NFL career. Goodbye for now.